Welcome everybody, this is Conrad Diaz from the Cognetics Mechanical Engineering Academy. In this video we talk about how to specify screw threads on engineering drawings based on the unified inch screw thread standard. Let's get to it. All right, so when we get to the point that we have engineering drawings and our designs include threaded features, we need to define them on the drawings. Um, these specifications are typic typically called uh, callouts. So we have a threaded feature callout. And it, uh, per the standard, needs to come with the following information. The size of the thread, the pitch, which is the threads per inch, the thread standard and series that it adheres to, the threads fit class, which is sometimes omitted, uh, the minimum depth or length of the thread, depending on are we talking about an internal thread or an external thread, the number of instances of the thread, threaded feature, and what is sometimes omitted as well, and we'll talk about this later on in, in this video, is the pilot hole diameter or drill size along with its depth. So let's get into how to specify a threaded feature per the unified screw thread standard. Um, we see the format of the callout here on the screen. Let's go from left to right. First you see the screw size or nominal diameter followed by, followed by a dash, then threads per inch. Space followed by the thread form and series, dash, class fit another space, and then we have the depth dimension, space of course, and the depth abbreviation or depth symbol. In the case of a thread that goes all the way through a, a part or a wall, um, you would not have a depth symbol, you would simply say through. Uh, underneath we see the number of instances as applicable. So let's talk about each one of these in more detail. Looking at the callout format once again, uh, so far we've covered the left side which involves the screw size and its pitch. Next, we have the thread form and series along with the class fit. Let's talk about the thread form and series first and then we'll talk about class fit. So the commonly used thread forms and series are the unified cores and the unified fine series. There are many others, but these are the two main ones. Briefly, let's discuss when you would choose uh, one or the other. Unified coarse thread is commonly used, it's general purpose, and tends to be used in lower tensile strength materials, such as aluminum and many others that are lower in tensile strength. Uh, there is less of a risk of cross-threading or stripping these threads because their, their pitch is smaller. Each thread is spaced apart more from the next one. So less, less risk of cross-threading or stripping of the threads. On the other hand, the unified fine threads are higher pitch for the same size of a screw. These are, for example, in the case of external th uh, threads, are slightly stronger in tension than the equivalent coarse threads for the same size of screw. Um, that's because the tensile stress area is slightly larger in the, in the unified fine thread than in the unified coarse thread for the same screw size. Also, the unified fine thread can provide fine adjustment a little bit better than the coarse thread. And there is a slightly higher risk of cross-threading, but uh, depending on the application, uh, you need to choose whatever works best. And we do have another video coming up from the Academy that will address um, how to specify screw types, their threaded engagement, the thread form and series, etc. So please look for that at mechanicalengineeringacademy.com. The table that we see on the right as mentioned before, you cannot simply choose a pitch at random and match it up to a screw size. There are diameter pitch combinations that are a part of the unified standard. So this list uh, shows some of them. Uh, looking at, let's say, number six, we have a number six screw 
which we already know that is uh, its major basic diameter is 0 0.138 or 138 thousandths of an inch. It's not too important once you get used to specifying screw sizes. Uh, sometimes you get to memorize their major diameters, but it's not essential. By experience, you'll be able to choose the proper size of a screw uh, without thinking too much about it. But um, so let's go back to number six. It's um, if you are designing a threaded feature that has a number six thread and you want coarse threads, you would choose 32. So your callout would say number six dash 32. On the other hand, if you need fine threads, you would say number six dash 40, 40 threads per inch. Okay, and uh, not typically used, but uh, depending on the application, if you need finer adjustment, even beyond what the UNF, UNF uh, Unified Fine Thread Standard can offer, uh, there is the Extra Fine Standard, UNEF. Uh, for example, a quarter size screw. A coarse thread would be a quarter 20. Fine thread would be a quarter 28. Extra fine would be a quarter 32. Okay, to be thorough, here are a couple of examples and variations of external thread callouts. The one on the left, we have a number 632 thread unified cores with a class fit of 2 and A because it is an external thread. The thread on the right side is uh, pretty much the same thing but uh, expressed a little bit differently. It's a number 632 UNC2A thread by 0 0.20 in length. So we're done with the majority of the thread specification. What we have left now is how to express the number of instances of a thread. Here are three examples of the exact same thread uh, with the number of instances expressed in different ways. In summary, we now know that to fully define a threaded feature on an engineering drawing, we list the screw size or nominal diameter, we list the pitch, we list the thread form and the series along with the class fit, the depth or length of the threaded feature and a symbol to go along with that as well as the number of instances of that threaded feature. Great! That concludes our video tutorial on how to specify screw threads on engineering drawings based on the unified inch screw thread standard. If you haven't already, be sure to sign up for free basic access to additional exclusive mechanical design and engineering content. Sign up at mechanicalengineeringacademy.com where we have videos, courses, and certificate programs on the topics of product design and development, mechanism and machine design, automated systems, sensors, and control, manufacturing fixture design, welded or fastener joint design, and much more. Additional exclusive content is being added on a weekly basis.